Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel, a chart analyst who accurately called the XRP price burst that occurred in November 2020 and also in April 2021, says the charts indicate it may be time for a, quote, significant impulse, end quote, for XRP price action. And, and by the way, these were notable bursts. When you're talking about November of 2020, XRP was hanging around in the 20-something cent price region and had been there for what felt like eternity. If you were around back then, you know, leading up to that point, it just seemed like forever. And then uh, it bounced up to somewhere in the neighborhood of about 80 cents, which we hadn't seen in years. So it was a it was a big move, even just bumping up to that. And then there's some retracements after that to the downside, obviously, especially with the SEC going after Ripple. You all know that story. But then there was another move in April of last year when XRP ran up to roughly the $2 range. Well, it's been a year, and now this analyst is saying that uh, there's a really good chance that you're going to see some notable price action uh, to, the, to the upside for XRP. And he's not the only one that's saying that. In fact, take a look at this new article from AMB Crypto, which was published earlier today. It's titled, Why XRP is Well Positioned for an Explosive 45% Rally to $1.25. Yeah, they actually go into this article to highlight that uh, even a buck sixty-one in the short term could be in the cards for XRP, and they highlight that uh, those uh, lovable little splishy, splashy whales. Yes, they have been purchasing a lot of XRP over the last several months, despite there being a lot of fear in the market. Isn't it interesting to see how those whales behave compared to anyone else? Uh, and then there was also this. Look at this headline from the Daily Huddle. We know that this is coming sooner or later, right? Well, we might be seeing the beginning. Uh, hints that uh, it's here. Alt season. Dare I say alt season? Well, here's the headline from the Daily Hoddle. Crypto investors are rotating capital into riskier altcoins, according to Glassnode co-founder. So uh, it, it's interesting because w w historically, the way alt seasons behave, I mean, you could just see a trickle of a few coins starting to pop, and then eventually the floodgates just open. So I'm not claiming that we're, we're there. It's just interesting to see analysts uh, just based on actual on-chain metrics analyze this stuff and share their, their opinions on this. But we have seen that, which is also why XRP went from number six in market cap to number eight. There are coins that, uh, altcoins that are, are moving to the upside, some dramatically. But um, look, I want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. At the time I'm recording this, XRP's at 81 cents, Bitcoin at $45,333, market cap for the asset class at $2.1 trillion, and Bitcoin dominance at 40.54%. So if you look at where I'm circling right here, it's a tiny chart, it might look tiny on your screen, depending on how big your screen is, but that's the 30-day chart for Bitcoin dominance, and it has been trending down for 30 days, but even so, nothing dramatic. It's still over 40% market dominance. So if money's flowing into altcoins, it's not most altcoins, or else Bitcoin dominance would just be tanking. It's a select few altcoins. That's what it looks like to this point anyway. And that can change rather quickly because this is crypto. Uh, here's a crypto fear and greed index at 48 out of 100, indicating the typical retail speculator is feeling rather neutral about things today. Uh, now take a look at this. I got a few tweets from chart analyst Lev Crypto, who is the analyst that I was citing in the intro of this video. Uh, this first tweet, and I have highlighted this one before. This was actually from March 28th, but I'm going to repeat it just to set the table here. Hashtag XRP. The current price action since late February usually leads to big and sharp spikes. And then you share the chart that's on your screen there. Uh, and then there was this tweet, which I haven't shared before from April 2nd. And uh, Lev Crypto wrote the following. XRP is still maintaining a bullish structure. Compression continues, expecting a strong expansion over the coming couple of weeks. And then he notes that uh, this his idea, in terms of the direction XRP is heading, uh, would be invalidated if Bitcoin falls back and starts closing daily candles below $45,100. So Bitcoin leads the way, even though the charts would have you indicate that XRP, just in a vacuum, looks like it may be really teed up. If Bitcoin sneezes, throw your charts away for any other altcoin. That's, that's, that's what it always is. That's what I always joke. Uh, if Bitcoin does start tanking, then okay. It, it, we're going to have to hold off for XRP launchpad action. But right now it's not. Again, XRP, or Bitcoin rather is at $45,321 at the very second that I'm recording this now. So reasons to be optimistic for the future, even in the short term. And then there was this tweet from April 3rd. This, so this is his newest one from XRP. This is from Leb Crypto, and he wrote... It is time, hashtag XRP. The setup is there for a significant impulse. 
Will we see it play over the course of this week as Bitcoin edges towards the important $50,000 to $51,000 levels? Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing that. So hopefully we don't see Bitcoin go back to the downside because, again, all bets are off at that point. But I don't see Love Crypto frequently saying stuff like that. So if he's indicating that he thinks there may be a significant impulse, uh, given that he barely ever says stuff like that, he's not just saying it for the likes. Let's just say that. And he has been right many times in the past. Um, and so into this piece now, because he's not the only analyst that we thinks we can see some serious fireworks for XRP, even in the short term. Uh, here's the headline again from AMB Crypto. Why XRP is well positioned for an explosive 45% rally to $1.25, which I would not mind seeing because I'll tell you what, uh, for most of the last couple months or so, we've really just been ranging. It's been true of Bitcoin and XRP. It's just day after day. Yeah, it's volatile to whatever degree because it's crypto. But truth be told, we've just been ranging over a couple months. So it's not going to stay like that forever. Eventually, there will be a break. So check out this article. XRP price has breached an ambiguous pattern favoring the bulls, but spins moving sideways. This lack of volatility is what's causing the remittance token to remain mum. However, a resurgence of investor interest and inflow of capital could catalyze an exponential move. Well, how about that? Another analyst that seems to think this may be in the cards. And then they have this little subheading, XRP price awaits volatility. I like the sound of that because volatility is the purpose of investing. I'm not going to invest in anything if there can't be any volatility. No, because that just means that whatever you invest in, it would just be the same forever. So no thank you. Anyway, XRP price action since December 21st, 2021, set up three lower lows and two higher lows. Connecting these distinctive swing points using trend lines results in a symmetrical triangle formation. This technical pattern shows no directional bias until the asset breaks out of it and forecasts a 46% upswing to $1.25. This target is obtained by adding the distance between the first swing high and low to the breakout point at $0.84. Cents. On March 23rd, XRP breached the upper trend line, signaling a bullish breakout. Now, Since then, the altcoin has been moving sideways without any hints of volatility. The theoretical forecasting method reveals that the XRP price is likely to revisit the $1.20 barrier, barrier. However, for this move to occur, bulls need to hold above the upper trend line of the said pattern and slice through the $1 psychological level. Dipping this crucial hurdle into a support level will pave the way for further gains. In some cases, this uptrend could extend to $1.61 if the buying pressure continues to build up. This move, however, would constitute a 95% gain from the current position at $0.82. Cents. Now, while the bullish thesis described from a technical standpoint is plausible, the supply direction on-chain metric adds further credence to it. This index tracks the XRP wallets that are segregated based on the number of tokens it contains. And folks, I've always said it's, it's worth looking at a number of different things. Uh, when considering potential price action for crypto. So sure, certainly on-chain analysis, but um, uh, but also tech technical analysis and uh, and fundamentals, fun fundamental analysis as well. So it's really three categories you can look at. And I argue that in 2022, fundamental analysis is the least important to market speculators. I'm just observing how they're behaving. Uh, whereas fundamental analysis for me personally is of the utmost importance in terms of long-term viability of any crypto. But uh, here you have on-chain analytics indicating that uh, those splishy, splashy whales that get aquatic AF. They've been purchasing XRP. So take a look at this. Piece reads as follows. This on-chain index shows that whales holding more than 10 million XRP tokens have been accumulating since December 25th. That's right, ever since Jesus' birthday, right? Now, the number of wallets that fall into this category increased from 311 to 341 in the last three months or so. Well, that's quite a vote of confidence. And so it's just interesting to see how these accounts behave compared to the typical retail speculator, which is, is just typically very frequently fearful and just m moving like a bunch of lemmings, basically. One <laughs> price go down, uh, they dive to their own death <laughs> off the cliff one after another. Very sad. So it, it's just a matter of time. These price levels can't stay where they are forever. So what do you think is more likely? You know, th that, that we never see some sort of massive burst up again for XRP ever again, that we never see a new all-time high? Well, I think that's kind of silly. But here we are. And then there's this from the Daily Huddle. Crypto investors are rotating capital into riskier altcoins, according to Glassnode, uh, Glassnode co-founder. 
Uh, the co-founder of leading crypto analytics firm Glassnode says crypto investors are starting to take more risk by moving capital into altcoins. Yan Allman tells his 52,000 Twitter followers that while Bitcoin received the bulk of capital inflows last week, he highlights that some altcoins are getting attention. And then he cited uh, Bitcoin, Solana, and ETH. And again, Solana, obviously. Um, yeah, number seven in market cap. So boosted uh, XRP on out of there, unfortunately. Although, again, in the short term, is it really functionally going to matter? Wait till this case is settled, the SEC versus Ripple. I have a feeling people are going to be behaving a little bit differently when it comes to uh, investment <laughs> investment in XRP specifically. But anyway, he went on to note, quote, investors are div divesting into riskier altcoins, see for yourself, end quote. Now, uh, Allman appears to be highlighting the, highlighting the metric that bit, looks at Bitcoin's returns minus altcoins' returns. The metric is currently in a sharp downturn, indicating that altcoins are gaining ground. In the most recent edition of Glassnode's Uncharted Bytes, Allman notes that institutions are still pouring capital into Bitcoin despite the fragile econ macroeconomic backdrop. Um, uh, and then it just goes, I don't need to read that. There's another quote just talking about stronger demand for it. I think the bottom one I did want to read, though. Um... Here, yeah, I think, I think this is what I want to cover. According to the Glassnode executive, the institutional demand for Bitcoin could signal the start of capital rotation into altcoins. Ah, get me all hot and bothered and excited here. Here's the quote, though. We see the potential of a sizable crypto-wide move forthcoming since bullish sentiment spread to other assets in the space beyond Bitcoin, end quote. Look, at some point, altcoins are going to run. I don't know exactly when, but it's interesting seeing these things that are being said by analysts about XRP in terms of expected price action. Interesting seeing the on-chain metrics indicate that people are just buying. We're not seeing uh, what we saw in 2018 when the, the bear market was beginning for Bitcoin and crypto in general. We're seeing accumulation. That's markedly different than what we saw during the last bear market when it began. Reasons to be optimistic. Take it for what it's worth. Don't know for sure what's going to happen, but it's something. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say are right. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.